Okay, today we're going to be touring the Lifetime Living Apartments. This is in Henderson, Nevada. It is a part of the Lifetime Fitness Group, and they've decided to kind of branch out into condos, and they decided to open one here in Las Vegas. You do get a membership to their fitness center and their fitness club, rather, so that does come standard with your rent. And we're just kind of walking around in the common areas. This was the meditation slash, slash zen area. They also have a pickleball area as well as what he called a tub koozie because that's pretty much all the amenities that they have since everything else is going to be at the lifetime place, if that makes any sense. Now we are in the A3 floor plan. This is what I originally uh, wanted for myself so keep in mind that this tour was done for me and I never planned on actually putting this out but because I decided not to rent here I decided to share with you so bear in mind that some of the stuff is not going to be as thorough as my usual tours are this one was on the third floor I didn't like how open it was to the parking lot but I did like the big nice patio and I did like the uh, the sinks, I like the appliances that they chose. The kitchen aid was a really nice touch, very stealthy. So these units are a bit on the pricier side, but you really get what you pay for when you look at some of the things that they use as far as their finishing goes. It does have the floating toilet and the stackable washer and dryer in the closet, which I didn't used to be a fan of. But lazy girl syndrome has kicked in and soft life. So love being able to do your laundry and then popping your clothes right across the way. Again, closet size was not impressive at all. And that lighting was already letting me know that this is not the good unit for me. But the wallpaper was a nice touch um, on the walls. And now we're just back around. So we're going to go take a look at the next unit now. But I just wanted to show you guys the hallways. I thought they were very nice large um, doors and um now this is an ada unit that is why the microwave is on the counter and this is considered a semi-furnished so this would be ideal for someone who has a second home in las vegas or maybe travels a lot and does not want to deal with the hassle of furnishing everything so it does come with um pre-installed bed frame a king size bed frame with nightstands and tvs in both rooms in all the rooms and sound bar so that's super nice it does have the floating uh sinks just like the last one and it's lit underneath which is nice and this one has a side by side wash and dryer and a tiny little shower nook there for a wheelchair accessibility so that's really considerate and this is what the closet looks like on this room i feel like the other room was actually nicer closet space wise but you'll see that in just a sec i also thought it was interesting that they have washer and dryers in both rooms so that room has the shower and this one has the tub check out the glossy tile that they used it's just slur scrum delete dum dum i don't even know how to say the word okay so guest bath guest bedroom i believe this is blackout shades it does have the tv just like the last room does um and then it does have that mirror on the sliding door to go into the closet and again as you see this has a lot more closet space but it does have the stackable washer and dryer so whether this is roommate style or guests you know that the second person has uh, convenience um, this was the view for that one was not really crazy about having neighbors on either side not so private so we didn't go with that one um, this is a one bedroom on the sixth floor because I told him that I prefer to be on the highest floor and again has that nice big patio um, was not crazy about this uh, particular privacy situation and you see why in a second but this is the you know bathroom similar to the other one bedroom it's the same exact floor plan just on the sixth floor and it's like the reverse so it's flipped the room is to the left instead of to the right but other than that everything's pretty much the same but this is why i said i didn't like that i don't like that if i wake up in the morning my neighbors are literally peeking through from their patio i thought that was kind of weird so but this is just kind of like a bird's eye view uh coming in from the other side of the room and that's pretty much it 900 and some odd square foot is plenty enough for just me and now we are in an a4 so this was also a one bedroom floor plan it's longer 
um, but it's missing the balcony. So what you have is a Juliet balcony, which means you don't have furniture. If you're not one of those people that likes to sit out, but you still want a nice view and a place to stand and admire it, then this is a nice way to get your sweeping view uh, without dealing. Very similar to the A3, I believe is what the first one we toured was. Um, closet space is just about the same, maybe a little bit wider again, because remember it's longer in general, but yeah, we didn't go with this one because of what I, um, told you about the balcony situation, but it, it is nice that they have a lot of shelf, uh, closet space. Uh, they did have a bike room as well as a locker room and that's all the amenities that they had to show. What do you think about this property? Would you live here? Uh, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? And what are some other properties that you would recommend for me to go tour? Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.